Welcome back, comrades. This is Gaming with Austin. Today, <coughs> we're going towards episode 142, first season of the Tarpeen Community Series. Let's get this world fired up. Whenever I get a job, I'm gonna res start restricting my needs. Like, no, no, wants, not needs. I'm. The ultimate one. <clears throat> Once I visit Disney World, I'd go towards. And every 10 years or so, I'd do another... Every couple of years or so, I'd do Disney World. As a way to reward myself for living a simple life. Faith has gone. Faith has gone. In this episode, by the way, I was just singing power metal as I didn't have anything to talk about. Some of the, the some of the villagers have left the farm. By the way, some of the villagers have left the farm. Some of 
Some of them villagers have left the farm. The farm. <laughs> this is where people would go barter. There's something that could help us achieve true communism. I know this might involve a bit of genetic engineering. It's gonna involve that. Well, Donald Trump, how did he get so greedy? There's instinct. Shine on me every way, show me the way, take me back, take me home, starlight. Shine on me, release me, starlight, take me home, from here I'm home. Not only you need to follow, following your instincts is important, but you should also follow. There's some instincts that we have that we do not need anymore as a species because <clears throat> of agriculture. Cats as a species. If they had a political ideology, they'd probably adhere to fascism. The reason they would adhere to fascism is that they think they are the superior race to all the other animals. The reason they see themselves as a superior race to all the other animals, it rolls down to their physiology. Nobody knows, nobody cares. We're under attack. Mm -hmm. Get this feeling we are light years from home. Mm
When it goes to death metal songs. Some of our weapons in the event of an emergency can be used as currency. Even though larger animals tend to have faster metabolisms, I mean faster metabolisms. Metab their metabolism, um, their metabolism at a cellular level, are much slower. ultimately destroys freedom. Moscow, Moscow, with the glaze on the van. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 hey, Moscow, Moscow, with the glaze on the van. ideology I have adhere to. One of the concepts is anti-authoritarianism. farms if we use too much allocate too much land for farming animals are gonna suffer too little land a lot of people will starve the problem with capitalism that is hurting so many people global warming is one of the consequences of capitalism we are facing right now Think of the oil companies. They are exploiting our natural resources for their own personal gain. This, this is just not fair. This is just not fair. With cats, the reason their food is not free at all for a cat is that in order for them to get food, they have to kill. Killing is not an option for a cat. It's a must. It is 
is aware of the blade now. Let's see. Even that air you breathe is not free as it gets turned into something else that is a waste product. The truth about why capitalism should be abolished, think of what happened in 1929 and 2008. Think of what's going on right now as a result of American capitalism. By nature, like for me, I used to be a greedy pig dog, but then I learned the truth about why you shouldn't be greedy. Number one reason you shouldn't be greedy at all is that it causes more harm to society than good. It even causes harm to the animal kingdom. And corporate greed is not only killing people, it is also killing animals too. Corporate greed is killing animals too. Just like humans, animals have their own ideologies that are very different from ours. And my communist society needs to go first. Once they should give you if you do work hard enough. The state should give it to you if you work hard enough. <sighs> Why we need to share the wealth? This is our only way to end poverty. Share the wealth. No matter what ideology you have, eventually, communism will ultimately happen. True, uh, communism in its true form will ultimately happen. How? Education. Economically, Karl Marx was actually well ahead of his time. Way ahead, uh, the pro he was well ahead of his time. Some communists were actually our allies in the American Civil War. Eventually, I see, in my eyes, I see money as nothing but a piece of fabric in repurposed rocks. But technologically,
entertainment is part of human culture. At first, we had concerts, which are still here today. The proof that North Korea is fascist, they are really racist. the Chinese. They want to purify the so-called Korean race, which is actually part of the human race. What you need to do is psychologically eventually, I might just think about gonna a lot of the toys I don't use anymore. And turn that into... And use that money to buy food to feed the homeless. And then the future, and the next American Revolution, one of the battles in the Revolution would be. Some of it would be similar to the mission of Mustafar from Star Wars Episode 3. Where instead, uh, like, the idea is that there should, shouldn't be a law, laws, yet people follow proper etiquette. Those who refuse to give to the poor are considered jerks. My transition phase to socialism in America, that'd be the phase in which we start reducing our deficit. How am I going to reduce our deficit? The military budget would be sacrificed. I know a lot of soldiers are going to get really pissed off. But I'm doing this for the greater good of our economy. Then eventually, we'd start reducing deficit. I'd stop buying from countries, yet I'll still sell to countries. The goal of my five-year plan is to get America out of debt. I'd do it with the intent of trying to keep everybody alive. Lions and hyenas tend to wage war against each other. The reason? Biologically, there's competition amongst, there's greed amongst every species. Back in the Stone Age, greed was vital to our survival. It's no longer a vital part of survival anymore since they're sustenance farming now. The only time, the only reason to need a cat, to have a cat, the only legitimate reason to get a cat is agricultural pest control. Is pest control. Instead of artificial pesticides that are literally making us sick, 
we could just go back to using cats. We need to go back to using cats. The right wing are the ones that ban people have been smoking marijuana for m millennia. Those so-called conservatives wanted it banned. Those so-called conservatives wanted it banned. Some of it's related to corporate greed in the pharmaceutical sector and racism. I'm in favor of legalizing marijuana everywhere in the world. People have been smoking marijuana for millennia. We should regulate the sale, uh, the sale of our wants. So, we can produce more needs. The cost of the wants, the, those taxes would go towards... Those taxes you do, would go towards feeding the starving kids around the world. Then eventually, once we achieve true communism, An old school conservative is what Abraham Lincoln is. He is an old school conservative. When you go to a theme park, you're not necessarily supporting greed. When it goes to smartphones, I'd only take what I need. <laughs> you don't have to kill animals to survive. Life be like in about 200, 300 years into the future. Many of the collectibles we once had 200 years back, like t what we have today, will end up becoming artifacts. What we have today will become the artifacts of tomorrow.
communist society. The It'd be a stateless, classless, and moneyless society. In the gift economy, you'd be gifted you'd be given a gift for all the hard work you do. Yes, you'd be able to choose the gift. And the food voucher would be given to you every week. No determine your weekly ration. What we need to do is have a society in which kids can be kids. First stage towards sharing wealth, wealth sharing, because I'd like a society in which people cooperate, in which the economy is based on supply to demand ratio. Got no place to go, so let's go to the punk rock show. The biggest factor behind global warming we are facing right now is intensive animal farming. If we all go vegan, we'll have no we'll have more than enough food. The average cost of food would drop by about twelve percent. Based on thermodynamics, if, if you go a day without eating one hunk of meat, you'd have more grain for the people. Not only you're saving animals, but you're saving plants too. Because one pound of meat requires at least two pounds, probably even more. Probably even more of animal flat uh, of grain for obligate carnivores. They're not very useful for meat because they must eat meat to survive. When I went to check on my sugar canes, I noticed all of them are all ready to harvest. You don't necessarily have to kill to survive.
Let's see if the... Hmm. I don't know if the updates... Uh... After I post this video, I'll be... I'm thinking about updating Minecraft. Meat is not a requirement for survival. What the rich people need to do is overcome their greed. If you think greed is good, think again. Your greed ha Your actions have an impact on the human race and the animal kingdom. If cats evolved to have to become bipedal and have opposable thumbs and learned how to use money, they'd literally try to starve us to death so they can survive. They'd literally enslave us. Because cats tend to be really greedy. For cats, greed is not, uh, it's not an option for them. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Share this with your comrades on social media, and as always... Peace out.